I'm back again with a new video. I know it's been so long since I last posted, but it's been really busy. I wanted to take the summer off and be able to spend it with my family before I had to come here to British Columbia <laughs> and pursue my dream in beauty. So I moved here um, about two weeks ago and I've been going to school here and it's been an amazing experience. I love it so much. So that's why it's been so long since I've posted. I've just needed that time to spend with my family before I had to leave. And I knew I had to leave, so I didn't want to spend my whole summer filming and doing stuff like that. So now I'm going to try and get back on schedule and film more videos for you guys and yeah make some fun new content and to start that off i have a very very exciting thing for me and if you guys can help support that would be like amazing but before that i am going to test it out and this video is going to be about um well it's going to be an unboxing for a brand called bombshell cosmetica and they are an indie brand and I found out about them on Instagram a while ago. I'm going to say about a year, maybe more, um, but they have really, really cool products. Their eyeshadow palettes are all themed. It's kind of like Glam Light, how Glam Light themes their makeup palettes with makeup. So does Bombshell Cosmetica. Um, so it's really cool. They have different themed palettes and the one I got today is the chocolate chip cookie palette. Uh, today I'm going to do the little unboxing. I'm going to show you the palette I got and we're going to like try it on and have some fun with it. But yeah, I look really bad right now um, because the camera is just making me look really, um, um, yeah, and I don't really have a background because I'm in a small apartment and I don't really have any space. Um, but this is what it's going to be like for now and I'm going to work on it and hopefully I can get a nice setup soon. Right now I'm sitting on the floor, you guys are sitting on a bunch of my roommate's textbooks and let's get into this and hopefully it goes well. <laughs> I have the big box here um, it's very light it's like Sephora orders when you order one thing and they put it in a big box and it's very light it feels like nothing's in it but I am going to just open this up and we can take a look at this eyeshadow palette so I do have a discount code with Bombshell Cosmetica. If you see this video and you like anything in it, well, the one thing, but if you like it and you're interested, please, please use my code because it helps me so much. You guys get a 10% off discount. I get a bit of commission, but it it's not about the commission. It's about how well this is going to help my channel and myself grow in the beauty industry and it's something I've wanted forever so to support me is something huge for me and I really really appreciate it anyways it comes bubble wrap like this this is the palette box this is what it comes in it's called the fresh baked cookie palette and there's 12 shades and it's super cute packaging I really really like it um, there it's cruelty free last 12 months once opened then it lists the ingredients on the back so if you're interested they'll probably have it on their website too but I was I've been super excited to get this like it's super pretty um, it comes like wrapped like like in plastic like super sealed maybe it's like for the protection but honestly I I prefer not to have things super wrapped in plastic because I I don't like having a lot of throwaway plastic 
But anyways, this is what the palette looks like on the front. It looks like a cookie. And then on the back, it says the palette name, uh, the brand name, Bombshell Cosmetica. And that also says the ingredients again, and the net weight, and all of that stuff. So I'm going to open this up, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. These are the shadows. They're so pretty. Uh, what I just noticed is there's no names of the shadows. So when I do this look, I'm going to have to insert a picture and show you guys what ones I'm using at what time. But they're so pretty. They look so glamorous. And oh, I'm excited. So I'm going to do some quick swatches. And yeah. So those were all the shadows swatched. I hope I did a good enough job for you guys. That was the first time I actually ever did a little video of swatches. Um, and it's just me. So I had nobody to like help me with it. And it was kind of hard. But anyways. Um, they are really, really pretty. Um, my favorite one is this black one with the glitter. It's really, really nice. But I think they all have like very good potential and I would really like to try and do a nice look with them and I'm gonna do that now okay I'm gonna do one look on one eye and one look on the other eye and like play play some more okay so I'm going to take this gold shade right here and I'm gonna just put that all over my lid I'm just taking this Luxie 229 tapered blending brush. I don't know how well it's going to do yet since it is like a almost glitter flake eyeshadow. But I like to use these brushes because it gives it more of a like blended in. Like not like it's sitting on top almost like it's just melted into the skin. So right now I moved out here because I am going to beauty school and I wanted to go to this particular school for ever. For since I started into makeup, I've wanted to go to the school and pursue a makeup career. And I don't know how, but I got in and it's amazing. I love it so much. Everything has been going really good. The other girls in my class are really nice. Um, and it's just a really overall fun class. Um, there is no boys, which I find is kind of weird. Like, I know boys are huge in the makeup industry right now. So, I don't know why there's no boys. I know there has been in the past. Maybe it's just not a not a semester for it but it's been fun um i've made a few friends so i'm using this glittery black shade underneath and i'm kind of it's so pigmented oh my goodness i'm bringing it up in like a wing motion it looks horrible i know but like i'll work with it um but it's really it's really pigmented and the glitter shines through I've been really into like Gaga 
recently I feel like it's because she just came out with her own makeup brand and I'm like super excited about it um but I feel like I'm totally in for like the crazy gaga looks right now in class the other day I did this girl's makeup and I did a full gaga eye look it looked amazing she had the total gaga eye shape and I couldn't help myself um I wasn't supposed to do that so I kind of like screwed myself a little bit but it was good she looked good so like who cares I am going to take a little bit of this brown shade and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line. Give it like a softer, more smoked out glam look. I'll do a more uh, light look on the other eye. But like, I never do light looks. I'm all for showing what the palette really can do and so far it's working so well that black shade is phenomenal super dark and it doesn't blend out to nothing like it blends out super nice and smoky oh my god i'm like carrying this so far up <laughs> like i'm freaking nuts like this is insane but I really like it. This brown shade is also really nice matte and it's blending out super well. I think I might take a little tiny bit on this uh, Wet n Wild brow brush. I'm taking some of that black again and I'm putting that on my lash line. Life in BC has been amazing. I am near Vancouver so I've been using public transit i've never used it before coming here um because i come from a very small town as you guys may know so it is really weird for me and i really like it but i feel like sometimes i get a little scared the other night i had to call the police because um, I heard a woman screaming outside my building. I'm not even in a bad area, but she sounded like she was being attacked. And it was like 1.30 a.m. So I called the police and that was kind of scary because I was only here for like a week at that time. I really like this. I think it looks really like cool and avant-garde. So now that that's all sealed together, I am going to on some mascara all right mascara is on and i am going to now move over to the other eye and i and so i'm gonna start off with this burgundy shade right here and i'm gonna do more of a burgundy look on this eye more of a like pretty like modern renaissance Anastasia color palette looking stuff. I'm just taking that on the outer corner and I'm gonna give it like kind of a winged out look. I am using the Luxie 209 large shader brush. I was totally not just filming right there but what I did was I put this color on my lid and then I blended out the burgundy and the lid shade with this hazelnut nude again and now I'm just going to clean it up on the bottom and put a base on. Now I'm taking a smaller dense brush and I'm going to go in with that burgundy shade again and I'm going to put that all along my lower lash line. These mattes are super nice. The shimmers are also nice. They're just flaky. So using a tacky base is the best option. I don't suggest going in with the shimmers um, on top of 
a already set base because they probably won't stick. But if you do want to do that, you could probably use a MAC Fix Plus and it will probably lay on pretty well. And now I'm going to use the same brush as I used on my lid for that shimmer. And I'm going to lay that on my inner corner. Now I'm going to take that nude hazelnut shade again. And I'm going to just blend it out. Alright, so now I am going to just put on some liner and some mascara and then I'm going to put on some lashes, finish my face, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished my face. I look kind of crazy, but I did it this way so you can see on one side of my face is like one full look and then on the other side it's like another full look, but this is how I do them separately, I feel. I'm not sure about the lips. I like the lips, but anyways, so this eye is really pretty. Just like a little and yeah so overall thoughts on this palette is I really like the colors I feel like the formula is really nice the mattes are like amazing um yeah it's pretty good packaging like it doesn't feel cheap or anything like it's heavy duty cardboard um which is also good because there is no plastic waste with the cardboard but I guess it is with wrapping it in plastic but um, it is really nice layout really pretty shimmers and I like that some shimmers are like a more uh, chunky looking shimmer some are like mattes with glitters like this black one love the black one so much and then these two the like navy blue and the green they're just a regular shimmer formula so overall they're really really nice and I'm really impressed with the palette um, it makes me really happy I love the packaging how it's a cookie <laughs> um, so that's really cool and yeah swatched really nice and applied really nice and I feel like you can get so many different looks out of this palette um, there's so many different combinations you can do. These are just two looks, um, you can do, but I'm sure there's tons more that you can make with just this single palette. Yeah, stay tuned to their Instagram page. I'll link that down below for new releases and to check out some of their products. And I'll also link my link down below. So if you want to support me with this huge, amazing opportunity, uh, you can use my link and you can uh, purchase something from their website down below. And like I said, you get a 10% off discount. Um, so yeah, uh, I really hope you guys like this video. I know it might be a little choppy um, because I've had to take a lot of breaks, um, but I'm really satisfied with the palette and both looks and I feel so good getting back into filming. My camera's about to die, but I really want to thank all of you uh, in advance for supporting me and everything that you guys have helped me accomplish so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys next time in uh my next video <laughs> see you later bye